Yo, what's happening guys? Zebra 54 I've got a TCG match here with the Metal Magnezone deck updated version. And we're going to be playing up against another Lightning sort of deck. Uh, Lightning Pokemon have become very popular since Team Up and since Zekrom. It's funny, they should have been very popular when uh, well, all of the, the majority of the support came out in Lost Thunder. But I guess people just now sort of trust them with Pokemon like Zekrom and Tabu Koko. I mean, Tabu Koko, the Prism one, really helps out a lot. But I feel like you can make a lot of reliable Lightning decks uh, focusing on Electro Power, Zero Aura GX, and uh, the Thunder Mountain without even focusing too much or at all at Zekrom. But anyways, let's see here. I get to open with Jirachi. My opponent's going to be playing first. It's a good thing we opened up with Jirachi. It's going to be able to give me some cards here. I've got the escape board conveniently here to put it on later once we become asleep. Uh, that's good. Uh, don't really have much of anything else. I've got a few metal energies, but we don't want to attach them on Jirachi. Uh, the candy is good, but only if I have uh, like at least Magnemite and Magnezone in hand. So let's see. Uh, my opponent attaches a lightning energy on the uh, Vulpix here, Lone Vulpix, and get some mysterious treasure and a lightning energy with the Volkner here. That's another card that has become very popular now with all these lightning decks. I see Volkner all the time now. Before, it, it would seem like I was the only dude running it in shit like Shiny Ray Zone and Magnezone decks. Okay, and gonna bring out a uh, Poipol. And of course, you guys know uh, my opponent is gonna be running the uh, Tabu Coco deck here. And uh, you can actually make a deck around the Guardians Rising Tabu Coco now. Uh, you just use these these uh, Naganadels, you grab the energies, play Tabu Coco, bring them on him automatically. And with a bunch of Electro Powers and Choice Bands, you can get one shots that way. So it's another viable, well, well maybe viable is a strong word, but another sort of idea for a Lightning deck, uh, Electro Power deck, uh, good stuff. So let's see, I'm able to get a Lily with the Jirachi here, so that's a good thing, but with all the dead cards we have in hand, you know, it makes me wonder if I can basically just make sure I get a lot of cards with Lily. So uh, we use the Field Blower on ourselves, and I attach a Metal Energy to just to maximize the amount of cards I draw. And let's see, let's use the Whistle as well, Judge Whistle. Draw another card, and I see some Gallia. I guess that's good. I don't have to worry about uh, dying to uh, only lose, losing Jirachi and then just losing the game like that. So let's get rid of a Metal Energy and the Candy and get me a Magnemite. We gotta get one down, at least one down. And at the very least, my opponent hasn't really done much on his turn. Uh, he played down the Poipo. He couldn't really add cards with Vulpix since it was his first turn. But let's see what he does next. Um, not, I'm not in a really pressuring position just yet. So he evolves into the Alolan Ninetales GX. Uh, not really a surprise uh, for him to be running. If he's running Vulpix, he's probably running this guy as well. And attach the Rainbow Energy. Uh, that Pokemon can get an easy KO on Ultra Beasts, of course, with the GX attack. Now, I don't really run them in the deck. I suppose, actually, I do. Duskman and Krasma is an Ultra Beast. And uh, he could get an easy KO on that Pokemon. But we're going to make sure we take care of this Alolan Ninetales before that happens. Thankfully, it's weak to Metal. So, so Galio can easily take care of it uh, without even needing, uh, without even needing like a Choice Band or something. Just hit for weakness and we can take care of it. Good stuff. So Nekanadel comes out, charging up. My opponent going to start doing that. And I know he has a Tabu Coco in hand too. Search that. So he can instantly bring it down, attach lightning energies, and start attacking, I guess. But he's going to go with Lily. I guess he doesn't have quite a few lightning energies. He would need one more. So just going to do Snowy Mountain, Snowy Wind. Uh, what the hell is that attack? Take care of um, Jirachi and soften up the Solgalia as well. That's not cool. And what can we do here? I can use uh, Erika, and that's what we're going to do here. And very good. I see the Magnezone. So we're going to be able to get our Stage 2 Pokemon out, at the very least. 
and uh, I don't really have much here. I, I guess I ha do have a few metal energies in the discard pile. So we can go ahead and do that with Solgaleo, grab some energies that way, because I don't have any Pokemon down. I don't have any of my attackers. I'm still sort of in the process of setting up, even though we got the important Pokemon out, Magnezone. So let me attach a few energies here, put all of them on Solgaleo, and next turn, if I survive, which I should be able to, unless my opponent brings up the Tapu Koko, then we'll be able to take care of this little Ninetales. It's actually very good. Uh, it's going to be an easy two prize using a one prize Pokemon. Now, the softening up, though, does worry me because now we only have 130 HP, and with Tabu Koko, my opponent can easily take care of this Pokemon. And that sucks. Going to be losing all the energies, too. And Magnezone is going to be forced active. So, my opponent is playing the Electro Powers. I guess really wanting to see Tabu Koko or just see Naganadel, I guess. Make, make the combo work. Just see the pieces to take care of the Solgaleo. He probably realizes he has an opportunity here. And he has the Aether Conservation Paradise too. That can be an annoying card. Thankfully we can get rid of it with my Mount Coronet. I mean even with that card around, you know, Tapu Koko only has 170 HP. It's one of those basic GX Pokemon that are kind of like from the black and white EX era, you could say. Just 170 HP doesn't have a weakness, but even with the uh, stadium blocking some damage, it still dies to Necrozma GX easily. But we're going to get rid of it nevertheless. And all I can do now is use Cynthia, and hopefully we get some shit. At least one Metal Energy so I can take care of the Nine Tails. And very good, that's what we do here. And let me get, let's see, hmm. I could get another Magnemite just to be safe, but I think we need a we need a viable attacker here. And since I have a lot of metal energies on my hand and I've got the Mount Coronet, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Alga GX. I really like this Pokemon. Many people probably don't run it when they use a deck like this or they think it's very difficult. It doesn't bring a lot to the table. It definitely is kind of hard to use since it only really has the GX attack going for it. Uh, Overclock and Shred are only situational attacks. Overclock is only good in the beginning, and Shred is only good if you're playing up against, like, I don't know, Pokemon like Hoopa, and you don't have an, a way to out that Pokemon. But, yeah, I like it, though. Uh, Timeless GX wins you the game when you use it. Okay, so we take care of the Ninetales very easily, so that's out of the way, and that's good. I don't have to worry about it. And so Galia is probably going to die this turn, has a lot of damage on. My opponent going to take care of it with maybe even Nakanadel, but let's see. Uh, he's going to play down his stadium again, get rid of mine. That's not good. And use Cynthia. So I'm guessing you probably want to see Tapu Kokos right now. Get your main guy out. So Ultra Ball, that's probably when he's going to search. Discarding a Liza and Lightning Energy. So Tapu Koko GX. Uh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay. I'll uh, grab even more energies with Nakanadel and get one more. And, uh, yeah. So Galia is going gonna, is gonna to die probably. Well, not probably. Uh, he can't use Guzma, so it's the only Pokemon he can kill. Very good. So, I'm going to put the Choice Band on, I guess, for good measure as well. And, you know, with Electro Powers, this Pokemon does do a lot of damage. I mean, it probably... It will probably have a hard time taking care of the Attack Team GX Pokemon and the Stage 2 GX Pokemon. But the Stage 1s and the Basic 1s, just the Choice Band and Electro Power, and you take care of them, basically. It's not so hard. So let's play down our Solgaleo here. And what can I do? I can actually even retreat, maybe, and attack, uh, attach the energies on Sol on. Necrozma and try to take care of him. But anyways, uh, I think I'm going to go with the Alga anyway, get the GX attack off while we can, and get our major advantage. So I discard Magnuson with Mystery Treasure to grab Lele. I do have the Cynthia here, but we're going to get the Lady, if she's in there, and get, my, get me some Metal Energies guaranteed. Get four Metal Energies guaranteed here. That's what we need here. Make sure I get the KO 
get the tools I need. All we need now is energies. So Lady is going to be pretty good like that. It's a great way to make this combo. It's nice, even though she's not as flexible as Letter. Getting, being able to get her with uh, uh, Tapu Lele does have its benefits. Okay. So I do have my metal energies here, and the question is, well, actually no, we can't, we can't quite use the, we can't use metal, uh, Dusk Mane Krasma, fuck with these long names. So I'm going to go with the uh, Timeless GX, we'll be able to get a good plus there, use my Cynthia as well, and just keep going. Okay, so Timeless GX, here goes the attack that wins you the game. It's so powerful, man, being able to skip your opponent's turn and then play again. It's just a major advantage. Yeah, so we only did 120 because of Aether Conservation Paradise blocks a lot of damage. I'm going to get rid of that now, though, with our Mount Coronet. And we'll get some more setup going and play down my Magnemite there, another one. Get some more Metal Energies with Mount Coronet. I'm going to be able to instantly power up Duskman and Crossman too. Or maybe I guess we should wait, not make his GX attack um, live there. Uh, I mean, I guess I do have a billions of energies on the field anyway. So let's just use Shred to take care of the Tapu Koko. And all I gotta do now is knock out one more GX Pokemon. So looking very good, looking very good. My opponent is going to be able to do some shenanigans here if he wants to win. Uh, his best bet would honestly be to just take care of the Magnezone. Because, uh, I mean, anything else, and if he kills Dialga, I use Duskman and Krasma, of course. If he decides to target down Duskman and Krasma, he doesn't know, but I have another one in hand. So it should be pretty good. We've got the Fisherman, too. We can grab energies guaranteed that way. So everything is set up for me to win the game here. And let's see, my opponent uses Electro Power, uses Ultra Ball. I guess he's going to go for another big Tabu Koko play here. And here he comes, Tabu Koko GX, going to make his combo and put, him in, put the energies on himself. But even so, uh, whatever my opponent does, uh, he's going to need two more prizes and it's going to be my turn. All I got to do is KO the dude and it should be pretty simple. So here comes my opponent's last play, going to go with Tabu Koko here. Uh, he probably realized he's going to lose uh, I would need to like not have any of the cards that I need uh, to not be able to attack here. So, doing some shit here, puts one more energy on the Ganadel, but ultimately he only has one option left. Uh, goes with the Cynthia, gets a, a bunch of cards, but it doesn't matter. So go with your last play, attach the Choice Band, and gonna go with Tapu Thunder GX, I guess he wants to get the... A last big attack there uh, and all I gotta do is promote the Krasma and I win so I have the energies here my opponent surrenders anyway and it's GG so I hope you guys enjoyed this match hope you guys subscribe uh, leave a like and share this with your friends thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you next time for more good shit Sabro 4 was we'll say